one of my accounts. The Welcome to Rec Room, Room Critics. And in this episode, we're going to be suiting up military fashion. Because this video is about militaries and Star Wars things. And maybe if Kaon's on, a chance with the Arcadian Alliance. Because I work there and want to give them advertising as well. So... Now, I did a test shot earlier, and it didn't save my audio, so we're doing this again from st the top. And we have a special guest who has been in my party chat every last couple video, Ben. Hi. Hey, guys. So, so let's start this off. And this time, I'm going to do it different. Yeah, well. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. First up, the Great Wreck Empire by Plush Puppy three one zero five, and okay, interesting building picture. I got my character down there. It's just like no, go away. Okay, first thing I notice. Great skybox in terms of lighting in here. Second thing, the raid shop is low quality and looks like a basement, but at least they have uh, their merch displayed, right? Wait, what and if you, you want them, looks like a basement. You'll see. And if you want a mini person that you can fit in your pocket, just spend 1,200 tokens, or 1,500 for the king one. Because I definitely want a mini holotar that I can stuff in my pocket, definitely. Okay, um... Another merch shop Thousand with limited for what? limit time only. Uh, you mean limited time? Because that's not how you say it, right? But okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh this is great. There's actually I heard, I watched um um Chub Your Snails video earlier. He said that mm -hmm. there's like a there's like a post from Rec Room. It's like an April Fool's joke where they 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 claim that they're gonna get rid of full body avatars, but it's an April Fool's joke. So is it the Great Wreck Empire or the King's Empire? Because it it says the Great Wreck Empire on the name of the room, but now it says the King's Empire in here. What? What? What is it? And why is there three lines for KOS, dude? No. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, that naval base looks so... Oh. Okay. It looks so low poly, and I can just run into the fence forever. Boing! Right. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at that! They, at least they have a, you know, giant naval su sub slash aircraft carrier, but it looks so low JPEG-wise. And... Uh -huh. Then the rest of the place, which I can't get into obviously because the gates are up and there's nobody here. Yeah, it looks, it looks kind of like a uh, military you'd see in Utah, or it's somewhere with lots of forest. This just doesn't seem like a military to me. Hard to tell though, considering most rec room militaries aren't actual militaries. Most of the time, they're just communities that act like militaries. So I'm gonna uh -huh. give. Uh, hang on. Gonna give this great Rec they... Empire room a three and a half out of ten because the skybox is great. Now from uh -huh. wow. from my invite yeah. list from Mr. Lambert at W Lambert, the Great Republic Military, or just Star Wars? Because why not? We all love Star Wars, don't we? Yeah, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> it's okay, I, I guess, <laughs> bro. Okay, that's I mean, too good. I'm keeping I that. I have a, little, a few complaints. I mean, the movies are too long, and the sounds are so unrealistic. Okay. And Let's have a look. A long, long time ago, if it's futuristic. So we have some Star Wars vessels here, even though for some reason they don't have doors. So that's a concern. Um, the skybox looks really realistic, almost like it's literally out of Rec Room Studio. Which it probably is, but I don't know. What's the problem? What's wrong with that? That is popping. Oh, I'm saying Rec Room Studio is not you now because you didn't get up to guys. Okay. I'll be back again, guys. Just... Okay. 
No Star Wars music either, which is interesting, but I mean, there is a thing with Red Room and copyright in certain aspects, so... Oh, and look at all these people! There's six... Th there's five of them up there, on top of the creator's menu! Oh, never mind, there's four in the creator's menu. And then there's five over here. Okay. Anyone that wants to be trained, like I said, go over there into the way to be trained. Thank you. Nah, no, this game is worse. What's the point of the yellow? Let's see what other good games I can play. Let's see what good games I can play. We don't care. We don't care about popularity. You can leave if you want. You do not care. You can't pass the yellow line. I know you. I know you don't care. Go ahead. I know you don't oh. care. Okay, <laughs> why, do you why, do you, why do you have to talk about it? Oh, it is Lambert's room, okay. So I'm literally giving him a free ad at the same time, since it's his actual map. Oh, Lambert! Okay, oh, I see. He's the one who invited me. If you don't want to be trained, he's you don't want to be trained. Yeah, okay. So just be here and be annoying. Okay, but what? I don't care. I'm a problem. Okay, oh, but why do you keep talking to me? Why, why do you keep talking to me? I'm talking to you because you're talking to me and you're socializing with me, so I Oh boy, a fight on video. Let's go. I'm not because I just I am not because I just I video. just said. Yeah, rec room battle is a gossip. Let's see what other game I can find. If I'm talking to myself, I'm not talking to you, am I? I'm just reviewing militaries right now for YouTube, so. Why is there a fight? I don't know, some guys are fighting over something. Ah, oh, that's the training box, okay. Interesting shape. Why is there two clubs, though? Like, what club? Do they both know, intertwine? I'm not asking you, I'm- I'm just making a comment. So that's, um... I guess I'll say it's a bug. I honestly don't know what to give it. <laughs> that hoodie is so weird. It's I could probably make that in under three minutes if I had Red Room Plus. Like, dude. <laughs> oh, this is- this is hilarious. Oh my. This? Oh. The VIP cube. And it costs 2,000 tokens to hold a cube. That you can really make it under 2 minutes with a maker pen. Bruh. Oh, what about yeah, the Star Wars fish? Yeah, I don't think there was ever a fish in Star Wars, but okay. <laughs> yeah, there was. People so was passing, They like, whacked the people with the fish. Yo, what's good, Lambert? Oh my god. Bye bye. I'm recording, man, so if you wanna make some points about your room here, you feel free to. I win. Can you hear me? No. Then they can. Only I can hear you. Everybody else in the game can hear me. But not you. Sorry about that. I have party chat at the same time, guys. But you're. The people watching the video probably can. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's like it's like how it was last time. So he, let's see. Here's Lambert's profile. Make sure you guys give him a subscribe, send him a friend request if you guys want. All right, I want. Let's see if we can get him up to two thousand. Yeah. I'll say the entrance is probably the best presentable part. Just saying, it's the only part I can clearly see without having to do tons of work. So. For this map's review, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten for the storytelling and the piece and the piece de resistance. Uh, shut the fuck up. Anyway, so let's continue. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to first do the salute before we we move. Okay. Can you train me? All right. Next up from my random list, United Foundation RP. Why should I tell you? This? Yeah. No, I don't want to invite the party. There we go. Alright, so let's check this out. It's their 846th event today, wow. That's a lot of events, huh? <laughs> I can see it. Don G follows the switch activities. That's a great sign to see what I get here. Yeah, just, oh, your friend's here, he wants to switch. So first thing I notice is the water literally looks like a JPEG. 
but it somehow moves like realistic water, so I don't know how that works, but okay. Alright. Second thing I noticed, the submarines slash battleships here look great, but the windows really look like, I don't know, they look like the mirrors that are in my um, dorm room. They're like really low resolution. Maybe that's just rec room's thing, I don't know. Let's continue the review. Merch shop, good placement, obviously. I mean, a subscription for... I mean, that's probably the key to the card right there. Nah, just kidding. Because <laughs> it's a membership in here. Okay. Only three people up here on top of the constructor, so only four of them actually made the map. Probably explains some things. Um... What the fuck what? are you doing? That was a nice reaction to the Rec Room Critic series. Just one guy, what the heck are you doing? Also, why is this duck empty with the battleship all the way over there? Like, just saying. Can I actually- Oh, you can jump! Oh, and it makes that nice water sound satisfying. Let's do it again! Woo! Okay, that was satisfying. I I'll give it that. Okay. Let's see if maybe I can get- There was actually one time in one of these videos where I actually got lit inside a base without even being trained because the people wanted to add. So, maybe we'll get lucky, I don't know. Okay, um, when I walk towards the entrance here, it sounds kinda like a, uh, it sounds like I'm in the rainforest in Brazil. Not gonna lie. You are not trained, XP. Nor minutes will be given. That That's, uh... Obvious, I've never been here. I'm just reviewing it for the this, this sake purpose of making content. And that sign's okay. I will give it credit, they did match the color scheme pretty good. And it's even on both sides. Okay. See, I'm gonna use my camera here to zoom in so we can see what we're looking at up here. Because I don't want to obviously get shot right now while I'm recording this. Okay, so it's obvious they have a good security system. You can clearly tell because the door literally looks like a giant door to a vault. So, we have yeah. that. These two random towers with nobody in them. Okay. Training area looks like a jungle hut without any doors or anything, so that's alright. For real. That, that, that's that's like own? terrible. The trees are conference? very ugly, as you know. Damn. Um, Bro, you literally work here. Now you're roasting your own map. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Gate? Oh, yeah. hell no. I couldn't. Okay. Yeah, that rock is very low poly, so I'm gonna dock that a point right there, because... Oh, look at this floor. Oh, you should look at the line, too. I'm gonna dock my dick in your ass. Pause, what? I um... I clipped that! <laughs> Yeah, and I'm, I clipped it too. And I'm gonna do something with it. There we go. Doing my job, Rec Room. You're welcome. From what I can see, because I don't want to get trained in like 40 different maps to make a video for this. What I can see is uh, the trees past the front are very low. In fact, all the trees are very low poly, as the guy said. But they have vines, so I mean, that kind of gives it some credit. Secondly, there's way too many bushes and random things over there. And I don't even think they labeled the base, because you can't clearly tell where anything is, probably, unless you're actually in there, which... Let's face it, this road looks like you could literally have taken it in Microsoft Paint. Like, in, in MS Paint, and literally just make it there. Probably take you like two minutes, you could do the same exact design. Yeah, so, this map, uh, from what I can see, is okay. I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 10, mostly because the trees are really low quality. Alright, moving on. Is this, oh, it's a workshop. Alright, and I've already done that one. You are not, tra yes, I know I'm not trained, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to random maps to review them. Jeez, game. 
NCR recruitment. Perfect. That's where we're going next. New California Republic. That's the room, apparently. Full bodies are not allowed. Wow, some people dissing the full bodies? That's terrible. That, that's sad. You still there, Ben? Yeah, but what do you mean, they, no full bodies allowed? Oh, because it's against the rules ready? for the map? Because otherwise they'll just ban you from the room that I'm going to, so... Yeah. Well, that's not nice. Oh my god, map. this is the worst frame rate yet! Oh, Jesus! What is this? Is this like a 1995 room right now? Like, look at this! It's like I'm that running at 10 frames a sec- It's like the frame rate is so bad! Jesus! What- what happened here? I hope it fixes that, because otherwise this room is losing a lot of points for that. Because... No. Mm. Oh, no, this I'm is, really curious. Uh, I feel like I'm playing on what? a 90s computer right now with how bad the frame rate is in here. It's like oh, two frames a second. Not. Look at the. Okay, two frames so. A second. Well, um. Terrible. Secondly, unless we're in like Death Valley or something, this is not what California looks like at all. Unless we're in Death oh. Valley, in which case that would work, because it's like a desert in that spot. Third thing, Star Wars themed buildings, except the fact it doesn't mention anything about Star Wars. Like, it's got a Star Wars themed guy right here. Maybe it's Fallout, I'm not too sure, they're very similar series. This front fence area looks like lasers, but it's not, so. This random room with a hospital bed for some reason. God dang, what is this frame rate in here? Jesus. This part of this room's not even gonna get a good rating if it keeps up with the lag. I'll tell you that much. Bro, so, I'm not helping you. Alright, let's see how much I can get without crossing it. That tower up there, Lloyd, looks like it's from Dead Island 1. And not even, like, in a good way, like a bad way. Yeah, from what I can see from here without getting shot at. Yeah, it basically just looks like the same as out here, but with slightly different color buildings and a random statue back there and more really dead looking mountains. I forgot what it was called, but it was a .5 out of 10 on my list. This room's gonna get a 1.5. That, that's all I'm giving it, because it is very laggy. So... If you, if you want to join the military, just know, don't come to this map if you're expecting powerful performance. Oh, now the lag fixed. So don't expect powerful performance right away in this map, because it lags right away. And also they hate full bodies, so if you're a full body impressionist, don't use it. Now before we continue, I'm going to go talk to somebody real quick, you know. Okay, let's see, where am I going to go now for a military review part? TGA? Okay, let's try that. The Jedi Alliance. Let's try it out. Alright. And just so you guys know, the reason why I'm recording is because it's been raining all day and it's been pretty gloomy outside today. So, yeah. Um, okay. First thing I noticed really long hallway. Venator class, okay. Is this supposed to be like a hanger on the Death Star? Because it's really big, and I don't think you could fit. Like, I don't really think you need this big of a space for a spawn area, but okay. Second thing, very blue. So they should name it the Blue Jedi Alliance. They should rename it just to the Jedi Alliance Blue Center. <laughs> I mean, I get the Jedi color is blue, but still. Still. Microtransactions Jedi? to your left, uh, and then yeah. to your right, all the rules, which... It's basically the same thing in every military, the only difference is a couple things. You can parkour inside, don't glitch or you will be kicked. Nice that you put that in all caps with the same text as the rest of it. I doubt the Discord code even works, because most of the Discord codes break in these rooms, but okay. Oh, I thought that door would actually open, but it doesn't. Okay. So that was just a hangar looking thing? Because now in this room it's really bright in here and... This looks more like the Death Star, obviously, in here. Okay. Oh 
before we continue on, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and like this video. If we can get to 200 likes before the end of the year on like the rest of the videos, I might even be able to give you guys a special treat. And if not, oh well. Anyway, let's oh well. continue on. What is this? Who is this guy? I can't even see screen names right like now. The year. Well, why don't oh. you like try to get to at least 500 subscribers by the end of the year? True. If we can get, if you guys can make the my subscriber count go from the number which is around 212 right now to 500, maybe I'll throw in a special surprise. I'm looking to monetize in the future so you guys can actually get better videos, but I need your guys' support to get there. So make sure to subscribe, like, and comment what rooms we should do next. And yes, there's going to be more I'll categories because I don't do just random rooms anymore. I decided to categorize these more because it's maybe easier. You should, if you like horror games, maybe you should do a video on horror games. That's going to be another episode at some point. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, that's it's your okay. channel, so it's up to you. I mean, I'm not it looks like we're having a riot here, so that's great. Who doesn't like riot. war in the world of space? Yeah, they killed the default looking simp guy over here. Yeah, it really sounds like the Death Star in here. So I'm gonna probably give this map a 7 out of 10. Right. The lighting's good, but it's really wide and it's so tall you could probably fit like... You could probably fit like 16 different people on top of your shoulders if Rec Room allowed it. And then you could st barely even hit the ceiling. So, I'll give it that. So yeah, this is this map now. That's a good thing. Yeah. Oh, not that one. I meant to go to events page. Right clouds. Events. Live events. Let's see. We already did TRM, I think. I don't remember at this point. Um. How about let's take a look at Fort Tomahawk next, because why not? It's so bad, there's only one person on the event page actually going. I'm sure there's more people there, though. But who knows? Join FT today with four branches. You know, just like pretty much every other military on this game. Like, every single one. But, okay. Alright, then. Wait, wait a second. Wait a dang second. This looks, this looks basically just like future military. It literally looks exactly the same. The only difference is the name. Like, dude, I knew why this, now I know why something like this looks familiar. Because it's a copied map. So that's, that already docks at a couple points. In fact, I don't even think I want to go in there. Because, like, the laser gate's the only thing impressive. The rest of it's just a copy. So yeah, this map is getting a .5 out of 10. D d no. No. Copied map. No. Boo. Don't come here. If you do, you're if you do, you either really like copied maps or you just don't have any taste. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Grand Army of the Republic. More Star Wars, cause there's never enough Star Wars, is there? Never enough. I know my character on the game just like, oh yeah, I like this. <laughs> Join GAR. That is literally the dumbest sounding acronym ever. But okay. Okay, so... We're somewhere now. I don't forget- I forget half the Star Wars planets other than like Tatooine and stuff. I eat the bullet. Oh. Okay, that's a nice feature. If you want to jump off and, you know, kill your character, well you can't because it just bounces you away from it. So that's clever. Only two builders, that's kind of sad. Oh. Wait, you can just push the Dude, VIP the button and it does nothing. I have a gun. Wow. Now we need Lots an email address. Like Ten, nine, eight. And now Coach has a seven, gun apparently. Six, five, four, three. Just kidding. Two, it's a voice one. thing. <laughs> the store has literally Wait. nothing in it. Uh, I don't know if that's a temporary work in progress, but whatever the case may be. Yeah, that's that's the front. I hope so. I hope you so. Keep I'm reviewing maps. 
I basically do a dumb critique series where I review random militaries and other rooms and, you know, give them my voiced points. The lighting's good. I'll give it that for the start. Let's continue from where we can get. Those barrels are like two to. I don't even know if they're, they're like 3D, but they look so low resolution. I get to work at progress for some aspects for these maps, but still. The barriers are good though. Dude, it's red. What the fuck you mean? The barriers are pretty good no. though, because it's like you can't just commit suicide in this game easily. Unlike most other record militaries where you can literally just jump off. Yeah, but it's a game, so you just respawn. Regardless. It's the point I need to address. Another one of these things, which I don't remember what these were called in Star Wars, but... Yeah. This is a very big area. I mean, if Rec Room didn't have a 40 room limit for people, unless it's like an event instance, then this would actually be useful. Rec Room, please add 200 plus people to rooms. Please. It's a feature we all want. Now make it happen. Please. Anyway. Let's see who even yeah wb8 owns this okay so, no i don't want to go to hoops legacy it's military day that basketball oh interesting username from this chancellor guy here well, it looks like a key smash and somehow that flash how does that flashlight actually work i'll give that credit that that's pretty impressive. It's Ace VR. Okay. Oh my Ow. god. And I can't use my camera, so I can only comment on the front entrance. Cause if I comment too harshly, most people are gonna probably kick me. So we're gonna get as close as we can without getting destroyed. Destroyed. I'll give them credit here, the KRS line is pretty creative, even if it's really a beacon, which, I mean, you can't get too creative with Rec Room, I understand that, but I'm gonna make that a comment as well. Lighting's good, the entrance area is nice and wide, but the problem with that is you can only have a max of 40 people, most lobbies, so, really, you can't have too many. Max of 40 people? Oh. So, most of these wide entrances don't really do much, other than for art. Well, that explains a lot. Rooms can get of course, really, really lacking, just like that other map that had low poly stuff, this map has better security than the other map, which was quite funny, because the other map was a completely different type of military compared to this. It looks like we're having a war over there now. <laughs> okay. I like their entrance better though. Their entrance does look nicer. I'm sure the rest of the map looks even nicer than that too. So this map is going to get the first on the video, 10 out of 10. Come check it out. Well, okay. That seems I'll very generous. For now. All right. I'm saying really? I'm getting a. Generous. You're gonna let me into your base? Yeah, we know. All right. Let's review the rest of the place then, guys. See, I told you that YouTube luck would work. And you viewers thought, oh, that it wouldn't. Yeah. You guys should be happy anyway. You guys get a free ad out of this because it basically advertises the map. Even if I make comments on it. Oh yeah. I like how the roof texture and the floor match. Like they actually like most maps don't match it right, but this one actually does. Even though he's not trained. How does he sound younger than me? Who told you you out here? That's that's great. That's hilarious. Okay. These hallways are pretty much similar to the Death Star, but the fact the coloring is somehow different than the Death Star, so there's somewhat uniqueness here. Because most other maps I've seen that are Star Wars, it just is like a one-to-one -one scale. And it's like, you gotta be unique. This is a unique touch right here. Even if it could- I'm not sure what to say the color is. It's like jet black mixed with gravel. I'll say that. Alright, let's see. Let's just go to the training room and we'll just show off the training room and stuff because I don't want to basically go through this whole place like crazy. Oh, and that and that door opens like a Star Wars door. Okay, that's gonna get an extra point there, so that brings it up to eleven. For a first for this series, of course. 
simple training oh, course, of course. Out of ten. Yeah. So you're giving it. Extra. It's a simple training course, but eh, if it does the job, it gets the job done. I don't complain about that because it's a thing. It's just a thing you have to do. This reminds me of a couple militaries I used to be in. One that I would probably never go back to is Oceanic Realms because they are evil and we are going to also review them in this series as well because I want to make a statement clear when I go to that map in a minute. But... They're evil? How are they evil? You'll find out. Give me a sword. The board system is good. Their outfits are good. Also, if you check out Shira, I will make a kick this deal with three as you can do. So, yeah. I'm gonna give this map a 12 out of 10 for the extra stuff I said earlier. And shout out to this guy right here. Give him a, give him a friend request, guys. Let's let's do it. Okay. Oh, there is it. Alright, well, let's get some more footage, because why not? I got. Plenty of time. And this is why being a YouTuber on this game can be fun but challenging at times. Challenging to find rooms, mostly. I mean, I understand it would be fun, but challenging! Yeah, this is the yeah. Bay over Not here. sure about that one. Hmm, interesting symbol. It's like. It's like a health cross, but kind of split in a way, like sideways. No, because like that's that's the medical symbol. Of, uh, like the medical oh, system. Um, so oh, like, I see, I see. The uh, announcement room. I There's see these some guys. guys. You'll see them once the video comes out. Okay, this has yeah, got some lowering. interesting it's looks like in here. Actual decent sized stage. SOP special operation. Good flags. I don't remember the Federation really being blue, but maybe it was because I didn't watch all the Star Wars movies. I only watched a few of them, but still, what do I know? Don't take I my mean, words word for word. Either. Okay. Like, don't take my word. Like, don't take it my me too seriously because I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. My frames are dropping, but that's okay. It'll fix itself in a second. I like how the door is all, like, all the doors in here open like they're actually, like, automatic. It's, like, it's more interesting. If you have no reason, being the brig, you will be on KOS. Good symbol. Okay, that's fun. Alright, let's go check out the brig looking thing. Okay! You know, this looks just like it does in the Death Star. So, that's some, that's a one-to-one -one scale right here. And that's a good thing for this oh, map because it actually good. looks good for the brig. If you guys remember it from episode 4, I certainly do. Looks pretty good. And over here oh, is PT and the ranking system. So, yeah. I think yeah, that's... We like, we don't really do PT at all. And we don't have... Hmm. Like a lot of 65th members, so a lot. Okay. Well, thanks for your time. I'm gonna move on to another map now. Alright. Have you ever thought about doing that to, like, Mercury? Hmm, not really. It's most of them aren't moderated by actual people, unlike these, unlike these community maps. Now we're going to C.D.F-Military. Why is there dots between each of them? I don't know. But MGVR invited me, so we'll find out. Okay, yeah, if we're- oh, This I'm desert is the me. flattest desert I've ever seen for the entrance here. Like, there's literally not even a single cactus. Bruh. At this point- At this point, this isn't a desert, it's literally just a giant sandbox. Midi song over there. <laughs> Zero <laughs> XP, yeah, you dang, I know. <laughs> okay. Giant that's the training box looks like a house with with one wall missing, so I don't know how that roof is staying up, but okay. I get it's a game. I get it is, but if it was realistic physics, which is something Rec Room should add in the future, it wouldn't really work. Hot tsunami. Oh, it was UMA. Well, we'll have to check that out, too. We'll check that out Uma. next, maybe. And the gate literally looks... 
I don't know what the gate really can say it looks like. It just looks like giant giant little potatoes or something. And they have a turret right here, which giant little potatoes. Giant I can't obviously use the turret, potatoes. but I didn't even notice the KOS line right here, because it blends in. So that's kind of nice. Oh, so well. Looks kind of like a construction yard in there, though. Not really a military, but... Eh. I'll give them credit for the lighting and, you know, the vibe they're trying to go with, but the sand, the giant sandbox thing, I just don't get it. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So this map is going to get a 4.5 out of 10 from Agent Oyster. So now we're going to check out this UMA thing, because it sounds cool. It sounds interesting. UMA underscore. There it is. UMA underscore military by Brongals. Stupid. Dumb username, but okay. Not the best username. Oh, well, obvious. Uma. Wait, Uma, that's... UMA spells Uma, which is like the name of a villain from a... Movie? Oh no! It's like she's like the daughter of Ursula. Look at this grass. It looks like someone. It looks like it. It doesn't even look like grass. It looks like rock. But the, someone just painted oh, it with God. grass color. And these hills look so wrong. Like they, they don't even look like hills. They just look like stones stacked on top of each other. Wow. There's nobody here, luckily. So I can go as wherever I want in this map because there's nobody here to stop me yeah this this opening area is just so empty and pointless it's it's i don't know what to say chill zone is that the training area or is that something else because i don't know uh, why is that necessary it's just a giant another field on top of the rest of this field you could really stand in anywhere in this other field over here but no we need a chill zone specifically for that <laughs> Bro, this map is not getting good criticisms from me today. I can tell you that. Yeah, there were probably a couple angry wreck tubers after me, but that's okay. Wait here to get allied or trained. Camo tank top. Why does every wreck room military use the same dress code? Like, bro, be original already, guys. I don't know, Come on. because they have, like, they have military, like, looking. You know what? Tops in the game. I'm not even gonna go further. This map doesn't even look like a, a military, it looks like a prison. And it wouldn't be the place I would work. Yeah, no. Uh-uh. Nope. This map's getting a 2 out of 10. No. Just no. Alright, and now I'm gonna go do the ranting time, because this is a map I need to rant about, because no one else is gonna react about it, and everybody is gonna say it's a great map when it's not. I need to review this now. What am I... What, what was that? I uh, can't see it. Yeah, you'll see it once I post it. But yeah, look at this picture. This picture makes them look like they're all happy at Oceanic Realm. When, how can you be? This military is way too strict. This submarine is so low resolution and here for no reason. This map is so small and pointless. Like, I've actually been in here. And they actually banned me because I actually helped raid this place. After quitting. Which, yeah, yes, I, I'll give him credit, the skybox is good, but anybody can get the skybox really easily, so. Physical training, if that is required in your military, it is not really worth it. I mean, if they don't use it enough, then that's fine, but if, if they use it literally every time you show up, then that's bad. Because, like, who wants to sit there and do realistic workouts while trying to play the game? Like, dude, it, this is a game, not, not a, a brain seminar. I Obviously, I can't get too much further. From... Wait, no, I can. Oh, never mind. Yeah. This map, I'm probably never going to come back to. And I wouldn't advise you people to join this map at all unless you are either bored or want a military where people yell at you like the real military. But to me, if it's a game military, they shouldn't be like that. So don't come to this map. One out of ten. No. Okay. Alright, let's go see in my events page again. Let's get at least two more militaries, maybe. Secret field, let's do that. 
because Secret Field was the first military I ever went to on here. And it's a mass recruitment, so maybe I can get some people yelling at me because I actually work here a long time ago, and I think I still have my role here. So we can get a full-on cheerleader. I gotta change outfits, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Guess what, 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 Luckily, I work here, so I can actually review this place thoroughly. Unlike any other military, where you have to just you review it from the front. In this military that I'm reviewing right now, yep. Oh. I'll, I'll say this right, this military gets it right. Even if it is kind of open and empty over there, but I mean, they at least they have an airport. And even if it seems kind of pointless to have, you know, a bunch of toxic people at the front, I'll give him some credit, it's not that bad, otherwise. I can also do this. Whee! You just jump over a roof and land perfectly, because if you touch the grass, they get super angry at you about it. So, yeah. Let's let's continue on, shall we? What gets angry at you? Oh, you'll see in the video. But, what I'm exactly seeing. So here's the front. I won't review it too long, because... Those little bar things do kill you, but yeah, it's okay. I don't know why they needed three sets of them though. It's kind of overkill, but I'm um, they got the good military stuff here with the airplane symbols. It seems more like an Air Force military when you first think about it, but yeah, training course over there, you know that kind of stuff. The rest of that I'm not gonna throw off because that's just. It's my Rec Room Critique video, if you're wondering. I basically just Shut give up, free bro. advertising. You do what you can, I do what I want, bro. This is announcements. Most militaries have decent announcements places compared to the rest of it. And in this building, which looks like nothing. Until you realize what it is. Boop. Boom. Weapon. Just like that. And the day and night cycles do work really good. So, that's great. And the best part is, is this map seems empty, but they've had multiple versions of it. So they've improved it over time, which is pretty good, compared to most of these other militaries where they le they make it, realize it's okay or mid, and then just kind of get rid of it. I've seen a couple do that. And if King was online, I'd review Cybertech, but... He's not online, so... Who's that online? <laughs> so, before we continue, let's switch back into my attire we were using earlier. Good old Milan. Give this guy a friend request and let's get him up to 4,000 subscribers, guys. Come on. His, his map's actually decent compared to the rest of them. Oh. Oh. Okay, um... Frontier Empire. Yeah, this looks kind of sad, but... Eh, why not? Let's, let's try it. Okay. But the rest, the last map's gonna get a 7 out of 10. Because it's really good, but it is kind of empty, huh? so... Alright. Well, maybe they should get some more. Maybe this video will help more people see it. Oh. This map, The Frontier Empire by Jay Allen. Yeah, I don't really like this entrance area, but that's just me. These hills really look like someone drew it out of, like, a tube or toothpaste. And we're having another war. Great. Wonderful. Holy. Dude, you're not, not even a host. It's just your E1. Another one. Not lie. I am a host. I am That's a host. Yeah. Actually, um. Host. It's I'm the music's allies. probably the only good part I can say. We look like four we the like rest of it I'm not gonna say much about four because it's just it's not interesting to me. 
and it's kind of bland, so I'm gonna give this room a 4 out of 10. Okay, one more maybe. Let's see, where's the recorder at? Oh yeah, one more map and that's it, because we're at 45 minutes. Okay, uh, but I'm gonna try and make it less Star Wars maps, because I'd rather do those separately for most of the video, but there's a lot of Star Wars militaries mixed in, so it's hard to say no to that shot. You did that one, um... Can you drain me? Can you drain me? Let's do UNSC, also known as the Halo of Maps. Here we go, UNSC, the United Nations Space Command, also known as Halo Meets Rec Room. Unofficially, of course. Unofficially. The fact they even hand drew the symbol from Halo, like, wow. That's pretty creative. Oh. Okay. Of course, I'm the only one here. Ha! Ha! Okay, that's funny. You're the only one Tw there. 2554. Okay, so they do have some storytelling related to Halo. That's good. But I don't think the spaceship looks anything like Halo, though. Wait, is there anybody else here? Let's see. No, there's nobody here. So I can go in, right? Oh, there's a glass door. Okay. Well, luckily this glass door makes it easy to review it. So yeah, it's, it, it's kind of like future military, but it's kind of empty and kind of lame. So I'm going to give this map a 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10 feels right. Okay. How many more militaries could I do in a video? I honestly don't know. Steel ra Oh, God. You know, that looks so bad. It looks like a Roblox game. What? You know what? Where, where did it go? Where did it go? Come back. Steel Rain. This is gonna be the last... Actually, these two are gonna be the last militaries of the day. Cosmic Military yeah, RP. Like one, you went to. Yeah, it's fine. I extend these videos too long anyway. It's worth it. It gives me something to do other than play. Okay. What? Um... What? Oh, you did I just... I did I just seen that moon move, like, it doesn't move, like, really different? Should I do a talk show episode for this Rec Room Critics series? Let me know in the comments below. First of all, I was eating, so... Not doing the AS on yeah, it's night time in here. What? Is that the sun or the moon? And why is there three moons? That, that, that doesn't really make sense. Do you know what sense. Do you know what, do you know what sun, do you know what sun is called? Yeah, it's called the star, dude. I'm not stupid. And you go on mute now. Okay. What? That door? So, this military, to me, seems like it's really just a Fallout thing. Like a Fallout 4 kind of clone, in a way. Not that that's bad, oh. because there's not very Fallout maps, but... Still. Uh. Like, it looks like the same entrance to Vault Tech in Fallout 4. And I've played Fallout 4. So I would know what I'm talking about. You realize I can mute anybody I want, right? I don't have to listen to you. And I can't zoom in with my camera, so... My camera's gonna be floating there for forever. Until I decide to move. Look guys, it's my camera! Ooh. Just kidding, it doesn't actually do anything. Is it camera? Yeah, um, from what I can tell, I'm gonna give this map a 2 out of 10 right now, mostly because the the night setting's okay, and the entrance is kinda just a little too simple. Alright, and now we get to do the really bad map that's on my events page from earlier. I'm getting invited to other places at the same time. Oh, this map's over to speaking of Star Wars, I got it. Steel Rain Military by me. Cool Jordan. We gotta see how bad this is. Let's go. It's gonna have a Star Wars theme. Oh, oh god. god! That I screen! Nice. I get to work, so. I think, I oh think we're gonna god! See the, the, the force. <laughs> 
Oh, this map is so bad looking. The sand literally, the sand literally looks like a plate. Like it doesn't even look like real sand. It literally just looks like a, it literally just looks like someone took a concrete slab. Secondly, why is the United States flag just floating there? There's nothing even holding uh -huh. it. What? What the heck? What is that? Also, the sand over the sand over there looks like pudding, but and not even like a good kind of pudding. Like, dude. I like pudding. I like pudding. <laughs> wow. This map is uh. Great. Yeah, I I don't know what to say. It it doesn't it doesn't look horrible, but it definitely doesn't look you know good compared to most of the standards that I've seen in others. And there's two U.S. flags. There's one floating up there magically from a magician. And this one right here. So is it Steel Rain or U.S. Military Foundation? What is it with maps and using double names? I'm sorry, bro. I gotta do this. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, this other guy's gotta. This other guy's doing stuff that I don't like, so. Okay. I'm gonna give this map. Um. With the skybox and everything from the entrance, I'll give it a 3 out of 10. But the main thing that loses it from a 4 is that looks like a plate, like literally a plate of concrete that someone painted sand on, and that looks like pudding. So, yeah. Ugh. Hmm. Okay, um. This, what, this, what the last map for today's video is the New Republic. TNR. TFPS 4210. This one's actually the last one this time. Yeah, I've been lying to you guys the whole time saying the other two are the last ones, but I keep seeing other maps that so I just gotta like, add them to the list. Whatever, it makes me get more work and you guys less... Waiting time. Waiting time. Uh... It's another Star Wars map, of course. I mean, it makes sense from the... Gee, I wonder why! It's not like the name really is the New Republic! And there's a jet over there randomly flying by itself. Yeah, their gate is very interesting. It's like cubes stacked up together with random stands, another door way back there. Yeah. I'll give them some credit, they have Star Wars music and intercoms, so I'll give this map a 4.5 out of 10. That That's all I'm giving it. So, with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and comment in the description what we should critique next in Rec Room, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!